All right, welcome back. We're going to continue on with Secret Empire Brave New World, issue number five. All right, issue number five, as we um, break for Brave New World, as we know, it's uh, three stories uh, rolled up into one issue. And it starts off here in Manhattan. I'm still um, underneath the Dark Force Dome that's uh, surrounding Manhattan. And then we're in a local school where basically all the kids are being uh, taken care of. They've got some new kids. Kids are missing. But uh, they got a volunteer sub to come in to help things out. Blade. All right, so Blade's in there, and he's pretty much... Letting the kids run rampant, doing whatever they want, and thinking back to, uh, you know, killing vampires. And finally he gets, gets an idea. Everyone, line up. Susie first. So he gets everyone to line up. And in here, you know, in the first period, he would spray everybody with some garlic spray. But uh, he's like, yeah, you know, maybe that's not going to work. Uh, some of them could build up uh, a tolerance to this. In the second period, he does finger painting mixed wind with holy water. But realizes, you know, okay, anyone can be an atheist, so maybe this wouldn't have long worked. Well, at lunch break, they was, he's like, hey, sorry, kids, uh, the ovens are out, so your meatloaf will be raw. And he sees you know, all the kids like, oh, except for one kid, and he's like, oh, all right, yeah. He's like, okay, yeah, that kid's a vampire. He's willing to eat raw meat. Yeah, that's the guy. And at the end of the third period, you know, he tells everybody to be dismissed, and he tells the one kid to stay behind, and he pulls out a stake so he can kill him. When, of course, uh, one of the teachers comes out with a gun and tells him to leave. It uh, breaks into uh, this part where this kid has a bloody nose, and he's uh, in the uh, nurse's office, and she's trying to take care of him. There's blood everywhere all over the Kleenexes. You know how kids with bloody noses are. Um, she puts them all in the trash can, and uh, it breaks into Blade discovering that uh, one of the teachers is sucking the blood out of the, out of the uh, Kleenex. Ugh. And it turns out that she is the... Uh, uh, Broadsire, and turns into uh, one of the beasts, and they start a big attack. When uh, we've seen this panel over here, that that little boy that he was going to kill uh, hands him a stake to kill the creature, and it turns out you know he is a good vampire, and he's been around for quite a while, and basically you know hey he's going to enjoy his time you know under the dark force dome while it's here you know constant darkness. He, it's a feeding ground. He can go have some fun. And uh, but the one thing he's learned from all this time living in New York is that uh, life goes on. It shows on the final page that even with the Dark Force Dome, people are still continuing on their daily lives. All right, so our second story in New Titan. You know, there we have a nice little picture of Emma in her skimpy outfit at a hotel and how it opens doors because she's a hot girl. Well, it gets into this next nice big page with Domino up there getting ready to uh, assassinate her. She's got uh, Emma in her scope. But uh, in here, you know, a couple guys are just kind of uh, hitting on Emma. And, uh, you know, they're kind of like, hey, let's see what your mutant power is or whatever, you know. And uh, Domino takes a shot. And as she fires, Domino, uh, Emma turns, you know, into her diamond form and reflects the shot. And it basically ends there. So it is my lucky day. Cheers for the assist, Dom, darling. So that's it. All right. So whoop de do. All right. Third story. Okay. So we are in Atlantis. And remember, Neymar is... Uh, being uh, taken down by his own people because uh, there was a vault and they're all upset because of what he's doing. And, you know, there's Bucky. Bucky's been by his side and uh, he's there trying to, uh, you know, free his buddies out of the cell. And they go over here and to break out. And they get over there and they have, they're with Namor and there's a big old fight going on. And, and who, of course, you know, shows up. But, uh, you know, his cousin and she's basically, like, okay, you guys got to stop and surrender. Because you are surrounded. And then she starts talking to Namor, and Namor admits that uh, he was wrong. And she basically says, to everybody, Hey, today our leader has uh, heard her voice and accepted her will. Long live King Namor. And so they start talking about how, you know, Namor wants to go ahead and start uh, working on an attack for Hydra, and uh, how everybody's there on his side. And it goes into here, and he's like, Yep, all right. It's, if, uh, it's just, it's time. But of Fortunately, you know, the surface world has an infinite supply of conflict and strife. And, but they're like saying, oh, but Atlantis has you. And he's like, yes, my friend, Atlantis does have me. And the last page here, kind of a pretty cool little page. You know, yes, it does. They do have him. And that concludes, you know, Secret Empire, Brave of a New World, issue number five. All right. We're going to continue on with some more videos for your enjoyment. Remember, Hail Hydra, cut off one head, two more. She'll take us place.